Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make Chick-fil-A sauce and Chick-fil-A nuggets right here at home. I posted this picture on my Instagram the other day and my DMs were flooded with comments and questions about if I had made this a video, if I was gonna be sharing the recipe. So I figured I would answer all those questions in today's video. I'm really excited to bring this recipe to you guys because the sauce is so, so good. If you guys try it out, let me know what you think. But I think that it tastes super good and very similar. So without further ado, let's just get started. Let's talk about ingredients. I'm in class right now, versus, but uh, this is the only time that I have to film uh, this video so I'm gonna just mute you put you over there I already got my attendance points so for the sauce it's just a little bit of honey some barbecue sauce a cup of mayo and some mustard I'll put all the measurements and everything on the screen as well as in the description box down below for you guys so don't even worry if I don't mention it we're gonna crack three eggs in a bowl whisk that together for our flour egg and breadcrumb little combination that we're gonna have you're gonna need paprika onion powder chili powder flour breadcrumbs and whatever oil you want to fry your chicken in i'm using canola oil because i'm actually taking a health studies class and i learned that apparently this is the healthiest oil that you can use so canola oil for the win for the waffle fries honestly i don't know how to make waffle fries yet i'm not a pro yet so I just got these frozen waffle cut fries from Walmart. They're actually really, really good. They already come seasoned. All you have to do is stick them in the oven and they're ready. So I highly recommend. The first time I cooked this, I actually used a pound, like a pound and a half of chicken breasts. So you can use that, that's totally fine. But today all I have on hand is chicken tenderloins. So I'm gonna be using that. This is two pounds, so I'm gonna have a lot more chicken nuggets than I did the first time, so we'll see how that plays out. Chicken breasts, chicken tenderloins, either one, you'll be fine, don't worry. So because we're making chicken nuggets, the first thing that we're gonna do is chop up these tenderloins into nugget-sized pieces, if you catch my drift. So now that our chicken is diced up into nugget-sized pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and take a Ziploc bag and place all of our little chicken bites in here. That way it makes it so much easier to coat them with flour. I'm gonna take like half a cup just put it in the bag and give it a good shake. Try to make sure that all the little chicken pieces get coated. So now's the part where our egg and breadcrumb mixture come into play. So we're gonna put three eggs in a bowl, whisk it together, and then in our breadcrumbs, we're gonna put a little bit of chili powder, that was uh, way too much, some paprika, and a little bit of onion powder. Mix it all together and you know you got the best of both worlds. Also, last time we put a little bit of black pepper in there. Now we whisk our eggs. And from here, I'm just gonna place a few little chicken pieces in the egg, just to give you an idea. Cause this process kind of takes a little bit long, so I'm not gonna show you the entire process. So once you get the chicken pieces all coated in the egg, you're just gonna dunk it in the breadcrumbs. Make sure it's all nice and coated. Get out a little plate and set it aside. And then you're just gonna continue this process until all your chicken pieces are coated and ready to fry. So in the end, this is what your chicken nuggets should look like. They actually look really, really good and similar to ones that you would get in fast food restaurants. So now all that's left to do is fry them. So if you'll follow me over here, I'm gonna take some oil, fill it up just like about an inch so that uh, when you put your nuggets in, they can be fully submerged in there. While we're waiting for our oil to heat up, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the sauce. You know I got the sauce, you know I'm saucy. First, you're gonna need a half cup of mayo, one teaspoon of mustard, one tablespoon of honey, and a tablespoon of barbecue sauce. Sounds like a really strange combination, but I promise it's so good. After you mix that all up, you should end up with this beautiful consistency, this yellow color. And we're just going to set this aside in the fridge and start frying our nuggets. Okay, I almost forgot, but now would be a good time to start making your fries. That way the nuggets and the fries can kind of be ready at the same time. I made that mistake the first time and I had to wait 
like 20 minutes before I could actually eat my nuggets. So if you live in a Hispanic household, make sure to empty out all the pots and pans in your oven. If you do not live in a Hispanic household, feel free to skip this step. But after that, you're just gonna get your fries that I mentioned earlier, put them on a baking sheet with some parchment paper and bake them in the oven for 18 minutes. Very simple, just follow the directions on the back of the package and you're good to go. The moment we've all been waiting for, finally, time to fry these babies up. You're gonna wanna carefully place them in, spreading them out as much as you can, give them room to breathe, you know? And once I get all my little pieces in that I want to fry in this batch, I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer for four minutes. They brown really fast, so I kinda like to turn them over. Also, don't be scared if they look like super brown. The breadcrumbs brown pretty fast, but that doesn't mean that they're ready to be eaten. The important thing here is that the chicken is cooked and that you're not eating raw as chicken. You know, you don't want that. So really pay attention to the timer and make sure to brown them for about three to four minutes. And from here on out, you just repeat this process until they're all done. And that's it. Like I said, this recipe is super easy. We're literally almost done. All I have to do is fry the rest of these little nuggets and then plate them with the fries and the sauce and we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of them and I'll be right back with the finished product. You should have about like a 50 piece, maybe like a 60 piece chicken nugget meal for yourself or for your family. The first time I made it with one pound of chicken, it fed about four different people. So with this one, I would say you would get like five or six servings out of this. So do with that information what you will. So here is the final product. This is how it turned out. It looks amazing, it looks just like the real deal, and I always feel guilt-free every time I make this or every time I make the conscientious decision to not go to Chick-fil-A because I felt like this was common knowledge, but I constantly see people buying food from there, so maybe it isn't common knowledge, but Chick-fil-A donates money to anti-LGBTQ plus organizations, and that's just something that doesn't sit right with me. So this is amazing, and although it's not the real deal, it is authentic enough to pass, and I will gladly stop eating at Chick-fil-A if it means that less money gets donated to those hateful organizations. So with the tea spilled on that, let's go ahead and try this out. I know it's going to be amazing. The sauce is beautiful. Look at it. It's just, everything's just so pretty. Here we go. Oh, bitch. Oh my god. Mmm. 10 out of 10, and you get so many nuggets. This chicken was like seven bucks, and I got like 60 piece chicken nugget over there. Mmm, so good. Just a reminder, all the directions and ingredients will be in the description box down below. Also, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. So that's it for this week's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you liked the recipe, and that if you try it out, please make sure to tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I'll leave the handles right here. I would love to see how your Chick-fil-A nuggets turned out but that's gonna be it if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below for new videos every single week as always i love you guys very much and i will see you on the next one bye